snow and elements and the wind and everything. There's a light dusting on the vehicles under here. Uh, for a place that never had anybody parked here except me, this whole place is filled up with a lot of smart people who decided to put their cars under here. We have some very smart people. But this whole place is filled up now where it's usually totally a ghost town. And then I got this big ass fuel tanker trying to make a turn over here off a narrow road on the Moselle to get back to Clove because I guess his GPS told him he's going the wrong way. I told him to take narrows and said go over to Clove. And I had this turn and it's a little slight rise and he's been here for about half hour, 45 minutes trying to make this turn. He won't give up though, he keeps trying. So if he tr did it a little bit different, I think he would have been successful. But I am not going out there to give him my two cents. And he might not want my two cents, even if it was twenty dollars, he still might not want it. But anyway, yeah, so far the plan's working pretty good. I'm in out of the weather. And I'm comfortable. The stove is burning nice. Have a nice day everybody. Update to nowhere, Bill. Bye bye. Okay, so that's how we spent the blizzard of two thousand sixteen in New York, Staten Island. That is under this overpass out of that blizzard. I was quite comfortable with my collection of wood, my little pot belly soap, it kept me quite warm and comfortable. Everything you could say was A-okay. It certainly was very comfortable, warm, and I was a very happy camper down here under the overpass, where I stayed out of the wind and the weather, even though the snow was piling quite high outside. But, you know, no matter how bad that gets, there's always the sun coming up the next morning to shine. And that's the way it was this time. And when I went outside is what I found. No snow on the bus or around me. No shoveling to have to do. And I was quite comfortably warm with my nice pottery stove. Even though it was knee deep outside. But the next day the sun rose and it was a beautiful, lovely day to enjoy. And because well, the coast of flooding, there was no snow down there. hideaway spot, so to say, later. Yeah. So there's a new storm coming. This is where I'm going to hide again. So, I hope you like these videos. And I enjoy making this here. Somebody asked me to make one, so I'll put them together. No storm anyway, coming the rest away. of this, I'm not going to this say nothing. This is the video. Keeps me out of the wind and the snow. And this is how I do it. And we got our wood burning stove exhaust system right there. Works very nice on my side. And this is my uh, impromptu garage. Yes, yeah, part of the pleasure of parking underneath this great road is that you don't get any snow or wind, really, for the most part. At least most of the directions you won't get any wind. Anyway, but here's the real kicker. You see, when you come a short walk from over there to over here, you have access to all sorts of wonderful things. As we make the turn, we have our dumpsters for eliminating trash. It's a wonderful thing, a place to dump your household trash. Readily available. And then as we come up, see, dumpsters, yes. As we come up and we make the turn, the most wonderful thing in the world, it's called the supermarket. In a short walking distance, if you were to get snowed in during a blizzard. Yes, and a place to dump your trash. Look at this, it's lovely. Hmm. And that is a health and fitness club. $20 a month. Go take showers and use the toilet. And if you want to work out, you can work out. Somebody like me, it would be showers and toilet. It would be the daily routine in that place. 20 bucks a month. 
not bad. But this is the kicker. Oh, and then they didn't do that over there. Need a quick blanket or something? You got Salvation Army right there. So this is like a perfect storm location. I'm not the one that sinks boats either. Oh yeah, look at that supermarket. A very short distance. And a health and fitness club over here. Take showers and use the toilet. 20 bucks a month. Can't get hurt over here. And the bus is protected under the old pass. This is how I do it. It's my urban living couch potato survivalist. Anyway, have a good one, everybody.